Okay, what's up guys? Today I have an update about the Xbox One jailbreak, the kernel exploit that we should be seeing in about a month's time. So if you watched the last video or followed the tutorial, you will know that we installed GameScript and got our console ready for the exploit by changing a few settings and taking it offline. Now I did mention in that video that you're going to need a microcontroller such as an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi in order to have a device that emulates a keyboard in order to type in the exploit script every time because it's very long and is hundreds of lines of code that needs to be typed in manually every time. Now since I made that video a new method has been discovered and to fully take advantage of this before any system updates come out which patch the exploit meaning we can't go online and download apps from the Microsoft Store before this happens, we need to go ahead and go on the Microsoft Store and download an app. So I am going to be taking this video exactly from where we finished in the last video. So we have here our console offline with GameScript installed. The first thing we need to do is re-enable the internet. The first thing I am going to recommend though is that we go down to System, go down to Updates, and then make sure that where it says Keep My Console Up To Date, this is turned off. This is to prevent any console updates while we're connected to the internet. Once we've confirmed that this is turned off, we're gonna go back out. We're gonna go to general and to network settings. And then what we want to do is click go online. And then we want to go down to advanced settings, DNS settings, and change this back to automatic. Then when we click B, it's gonna check our connection and it should be successful. So we can see here it says it's all good, so we can click continue and then we need to exit out and go to the Microsoft Store. Once this is loaded up, we're gonna click search and we want to search for Notepad T. So typing in Notepad, we want to go to this one up here, the one with the little white piece of paper and pencil. We're gonna click on Notepad T and click install. So we can now see that this is downloading and it's all done nice and quick, only a nearly seven megabyte app. And now what we want to do is whilst being online, we want to launch the app once in order to cache the license so we can use this app offline in the future. And there we go, we have it all launched up. Now this app is what's going to allow us to save files and therefore copy and paste the kernel exploit script into the game script app in the future to make sure that we can simply just copy and paste the script and don't need to type it out. Now, this is good because it means we don't need a microcontroller and we can do the exploit straight on the console without any external hardware. Once we have both Notepad T and obviously GameScript from the last video, we want to quickly head over to Settings, Network Settings, and we want to, once again, like we did in the last video, change the DNS over to Manual and change this to 127.0.0.1. And the same with the secondary IPv4 DNS. So once again, 127.0.0.1. And then once this is done, we want to exit out. And we should now get the error that we cannot connect to the Xbox servers. That's exactly what we're looking for. And there we go, we have the error we want. DNS isn't resolving Xbox server names. So now we can click B and come over here and click go offline. And this is going to make sure that we don't have any online activity to receive software updates. Now we can exit back to the home and confirm that we can still run Notepad T and GameScript on the console. So once we can run those two and we're offline again, that is it. Those is, are the two apps that we need for this kernel exploit. Notepad T is definitely going to make things a lot easier and definitely going to make sure that we don't have to set up any external devices such as Arduinos or Raspberry Pi Zero Ws in order to use um, rubber ducky software to type out the kernel exploit every time. This is also probably going to save some people some money for when they're doing the exploit. And that is it for today's quick little video. Just wanted to let you guys know that this was a thing before uh, Microsoft started pushing surf software updates, which means we can't go online. So that is it for today's video. Let me know what you think of this kernel exploit in the description below. Do you think it's going to be useful? Do you think it's going to advance over time and allow for more things such as game backups and mod menus, or possibly even online access? Once again, thanks for watching. Good luck with all your mods and consoles, and I'll see you next time.